Knights, I salute you. The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Rifia, give us a bow. The targets he must with his quarrel's thread are red. May the better man win. Like a lover ghostly grasping but one fair teat, girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter defeat. <laughs> Sir Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Oriole feather. If you can keep a bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. Hmm. Ruxa they tend to be fond of birds. Hmm. Used to make compresses. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Someone approaches, quickly! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's, it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here! business.
Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous, gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Savor their titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metina. Rainfarn of Atra. Horm Makaspark of Maked. Donimir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiau. Count Ty of Dondal. And say of Lyria and Rivia, a prince. Geralt of Rivia. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The famed Fire of Silence, tawny champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a bard in deceit? Does someone need telling how tawnies proceed? How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother Meeve, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, sir knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun.
he lost. Enjoy and keep pace. Whoa there, Roach. A race of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your prize. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Sorry. Don't drink while I work. Your presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel, then. Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice! Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two. One! Settle. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. <sighs> you mean to say you had a secret mission? Set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do.
My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grass for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. That gray dome. Hmm. Strange. We're sure I'd find her here. Flew off. Worth going after. Ow. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave.
Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? Why, you are a witcher. You were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Cause the Duchess trusts me? Cause I'm a freak too? Cause cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Oriole sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it and they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment, and when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. All right. There is another. 
Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet-unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree, wholeheartedly. I see why, I understand. Don't have to decide just yet, think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. change at will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. <laughs> 